rock star in this life Gonna live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm mad Do it, no cap Only got one shit Better go live it up Cash in the bag Stadium pack Baby, I'm bad Baby, I'm bad What's good, you guys? It's your girl, Cece, a.k.a. Cecilia Robinson, a.k.a. Cece. And I want to thank you guys for tuning in with me today. Before we get started, I need you guys to like, subscribe, share, and hit that bell so you know when I'm coming on. Please, 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 I'm begging you, please, please share the videos. Please share the videos. To my new subs, I thank you guys so much for choosing me. To my old subs, I thank you guys so much for hanging in there with me. I appreciate each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart. Listen, my videos are done in chronological order, so you can always go back and bring yourself up to speed. I get asked a lot of questions. Where am I from? How old am I? How much time did I do? Where was I locked up at? Where do I live? How are my children? What do I use on my face? Listen. Answers to all of those questions can be found in those previous videos. Like I said, you can go back and bring yourself up to speed. I have a playlist that's in perfect order. The only thing that's not on those playlists are my live streams. Every Sunday, 10 p.m. Central Standard Time, I do a live stream. You know you can get inside the chat, ask me questions. I try to answer as many questions as possible. Now, for the people who want more content, more content is here. The C Have is now open. That's my membership. Every Saturday, I drop exclusive content for members only. These are not prison stories. So if you want to join the see have hit that little join button or get in the comment on the, under one of these videos or DM me or inbox me. I'll be Johnny on the spot to give you a link. For the people who don't know me, I was told on, I was indicted and I was convicted of a bunch of felonies. Um, my leading charges is corrupt organization and conspiracy. And right now I'm talking about being at SCI Muncie State Correctional Institute Muncie. I am no longer in jail. I am in prison and I am tired. Why am I tired? Because I've been up all night. Why have I been up all night? Because I got a celly that's been eating my pussy all fucking night long now have she not only have she been eating my pussy but i've been eating hers it's been a pussy eating marathon you know what i'm saying it's been a pussy eating marathon and fuck it i'm tired i'm sitting there debating am i gonna go out and do my my work as a ck worker or am i gonna close that motherfucking cell when they pop that door you know what i'm saying and i decided Fuck them people. I need to lay in here in my blissful state. I want to think about how I was eating this bitch pussy and she was coming in my face. I want to think about how she was eating my pussy and I was coming in her face. I want to think about the stains that is on my sheet because the motherfuckers are wet. That's what I wanted to think about. In my cell was peace and fucking bliss and I didn't feel like dealing with the chaos of the motherfucking uni and trying to serve these motherfucking inmates they fucking food. You know, and one of the thoughts that kept coming through my head was when I was eating her pussy, she kept scooting her ass, you know, tuning her ass up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Now, it tickled me because, bitch, I, I understand what we got going on here, but you scooting, your, scooting and tooting your ass up to touch my motherfucking chin while I'm eating your pussy. Bitch, I'm not eating your ass. You know what I'm saying? And I'm thinking to myself, I got to let this bitch know I might suck some dick. And I might have eaten me a little bit of pussy, but I'm not eating no ass. You know what I'm saying? It's just something about me. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. You know what I'm saying? So I was thinking to myself, next time me and her have a go round, I got to explain to her, bitch, stop tooting your ass up here because that motherfucker's not going on my motherfucking lips. Now, like I said, when they popped that door for me to come out and her to come out to go perform our duties as pie workers, CK workers, I went over there and I closed that motherfucker back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I went back to jump back in my bunk. Next thing I know, the door pop again. I get down on my bunk, go back over there, and close the fucking door again. You know what I'm saying? Before I can go back and get back in my bunk, the intercom comes along, Rob Robinson, what are you doing? Me, I tell him I'm not coming out there. You know what I'm saying? I'm not coming out there. I don't feel like doing this shit. <laughs> These people are like, bitch, you crazy. They ain't say, bitch, you crazy. Robinson, put your shit on. You and Mira bring y'all ass out here and perform your tasks or y'all gonna be locked in your cell. You know what I'm saying? Even though being locked in our cell um, sounds like a good idea, 
I did not want to lose my position as a power worker, as a CK worker. You know what I'm saying? So I tell Maria, I say, come on, let's go out here and do our shit. You know what I'm saying? Now, here's the thing. When you're a CK worker, especially at breakfast time, they open these doors like 7 o'clock. Um, they, we all go downstairs. We all have a specific task we have to do is roll down on the board. Um... They, they bring the food from the kitchen, the big kitchen, to us so we can fix trays and, you know, pass it out to the other inmates. Now, my duty that day was I was on cake. You know what I'm saying? My job was to put the cake on the fucking trays. And Mira's job was to give these people their forks, knives, and spoons. You know what I'm saying? Their fork, knife, and spoon. She chose to stand right across from me. Right across from me. You know what I'm saying? And pass out these forks, knives, and spoons so she could look me directly in my motherfucking face. Now, this pathway that the inmates have to walk through is no bigger than a small hallway. You know what I'm saying? So, as as people walking past, you know, they speak to us. Some people flirt with us, different little shit like that. But how it goes, this bitch is across making fucking eye contact. So, Jamie C, you know what I'm saying? Jamie C, the difference in me. What difference do she see? Normally, I got these fucking cornrows in my head to the back. I done took my motherfucking braids out where they done sweated out. But I done tried to put my hair in a fucking ponytail. Normally, I got like a little bop in my step. Not today. I have a motherfucking switch. You know what I'm saying? And I keep eyeing a mirror because this bitch keep eyeing me. And we got this little smirk on our fucking face because we know we just gave one another the best pleasure. We done had a motherfucking jail. You know what I'm saying? So Jameen pick get wind up and she bitch, what's going on here? You know what I'm saying? She and she sniffed me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the bitch sniffed me. I said, bitch, back up. Back up, bitch. You know what I'm saying? So she bitch, what you do? I said, bitch, I've been getting my pussy ate all night. You know what I'm saying? So we got a little hating ass bitch. Let's call her Lil Lee. You know what I'm saying? Little Mexican bitch. She over there. I knew he was going to end up fucking her. Bitch, mind your motherfucking business. You know what I'm saying? You just want somebody to fuck your little SpongeBob SquarePants body ass. You know what I'm saying? I said, shut the fuck up. Mind your business. So, Jamie, like, bitch, you got to tell me. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm trying to talk under my motherfucking voice and tell Jamie how I've been getting my pussy ate all night while these fucking people are passing through these fucking lines. Now, as I'm talking and I'm getting deep into my fucking story, Telling her how many times I came, which was eight. You know what I'm saying? And I'm telling her how many times Mary the fucking came. Guess who walks through the fucking line? Raya. You know what I'm saying? So I see Raya. I stop fucking talking. Now, Mira see Raya too. And the first person, now listen, if you're in a motherfucking relationship, you expect for your bitch or your nigga to speak to you before they speak to anybody else. You know what I'm saying? This is how I know what Mira was telling me was fucking true. When Raya bring her ass through that line, the first person she speak to was Mira. She, hey, what's up? You know what I'm saying? Bitch, all, all hype this shit. So Mira responds to her and she's giving her her utensils like, what's up? All dry and shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking at Mira and I'm thinking to myself, my bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like the bitch ain't gonna switch up on me. I'm, I'm hype about that. So I guess, uh, Raya didn't get the response she wanted from Mira, so she turned around to me, she, hey, light skin, you know what I'm saying, just some normal ass speaking, bitch, why you one that's happy to see me like you was happy to see Mira, you know what I'm saying, so I tell her ass, I'm like, what's up, she, I miss you, you know what I'm saying, she said she missed me, then look over at Mira, bitch, oh, no, 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 that's why I've been getting my pussy ate all night, bitch, you know what I'm saying? That's why I've been getting my pussy ate all night, bitch. Now, normally, when I'm up here serving this fucking fool, when Raya come through that line, I make sure she got the best motherfucking pizza, whatever we got. Not today, bitch. You won't eat good today. I gave this bitch the smallest piece of cake known to motherfucking man and sit that bitch on her way. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she looking, she looked down on her try. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, bye. You know what I'm saying? Have it go. I, I keep my motherfucking conversation going and be able to smirk at me and smile at me. Good job. High five. Invisible high five. Bitch, we did it. You know what I'm saying? Long story short. All right, breakfast is over with and we're cleaning up. You know what I'm saying? Now, we don't want to make that we're fucking 
obvious or whatever. So I fix Mira a plate. I power her shit on because I know the bitch like to eat good because she thick. Her ass is fat. Her titties is good. I'm powering her shit on. You know, I'm a good wife. I'm a good wife. I'm a good wife. So I put get her her plate and she goes sit across the the cap the um room from me. Now I'm sitting at a table with Jimmy and Lil Lee come bring her ugly square body built ass over to the table just to eavesdrop and be be nosy. You know what I'm saying? I didn't give a fuck. So I'm telling Jimmy all the juicy ass details. And I'm talking about we over there. We girls. We cackling. <laughs> you know, all this other shit. Now every time I look up. You got Mira making eye contact with me and shit. You know what I'm saying? And the shit is turning me on. It's making my pussy wet. You know what I'm saying? Every time, this was about three or four times I look up in the bitches, you know what I'm saying? Blowing me kisses and shit like that. And that shit is, is listen, the shit just did something to me. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing like being wanted by a person you want as well. You know what I'm saying? It makes your pussy wet. It makes, it makes you throb. It makes you smile off the thought. Of some shit happening. You know what I'm saying? The fifth time I look up at this bitch, she give me a head nod. Now with this head nod signal, this head nod signal, bitch, go up to the cell. You know what I'm saying? Meet me up at the motherfucking cell. Boom. And I tell Jimmy, bitch, I'll be right back. Watch my plate. You know what I'm saying? When I say I got the fuck up out of there like I had motherfucking skates on me. I'm going up there. I hit that top tier and I got in my fucking cell. Two minutes later, he come Mira through that door. You know what I'm saying? So when she come through that door, I'm standing there. Because I'm, I'm anticipating what's getting ready to happen. This bitch grabbed me by my motherfucking throat. Baby! I'm talking about, woo! I could have came right there. She grabbed me by my motherfucking throat. Pushed me up against the wall like we was in a motherfucking movie. And this bitch kissed me. She kissed me and stuck that motherfucking tongue that had made me feel so good the night before. In my fucking mouth. And that bitch, it's like she wrote her name in my my mouth oh I could have sworn I come right then and there I came I came you know what I'm saying the bitch tell me lay down real quick lay down listen I get up on the bed and this bitch snatched my clothes off of me I'm talking about the urgency she did this shit in and I'm talking about within seconds this bitch had her whole mouth sucking my pussy and she oh baby listen and I'm 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 I'm, I'm, I'm coming it, it didn't take no long time neither. This is like two minutes. I'm coming and I'm shaking. Oh my God, this shit felt so good. Now what felt even better to me, and some women know this. Listen, check this out. I had not had a shower that morning. This was marinated pussy. You know what I'm saying? This pussy was the, from the juices. The juices from the night before. You know what I'm saying? Was down there. You know? And, and I had peed one or two times. So this pussy had some seasoning on it. This bitch didn't give a fuck. She had my legs spread as far as they can fucking go. And she was making love with her mouth to me. Oh my God, I'm coming and I'm shaking and I'm coming and I'm shaking. And I'm talking about, I'm thinking in my head the thoughts of a future with her. You know, can I have this bitch, kids? You know, is she going to leave me? What, 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 what's going to happen when we get out? Are we going to be together? All these fucking thoughts is going through my motherfucking head. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about no common sense at all was there. So she she get up and I'm still shaking. You know what I'm saying? She And she she she's headed for the door. Bitch, where you going? Where you going, Mira? You know what I'm saying? She tell me, she say, I don't want nothing from you. She said, I just wanted you to have a better day like you had a better night. Bitch, are you serious? You know what I'm saying? Oh. She was the one. Bitch, are you serious? You know what I'm saying? I get up and I collect myself. You know what I'm saying? I collect myself, I pull my panties up, and I go back out, and my legs still kind of bambi. You know what I'm saying? The motherfuckers is wobbling. I got to hold on to the the stair, the, the banister when I'm walking down this staircase. And I'm talking about, I was in love. I was in love. It, it just is. No bitch had ever ate my pussy like that. And it's, listen, there's just something about having sex when you're not supposed to be having sex that make that shit so much more intense. You know what I'm saying? So we go back down these stairs and and I'm, I'm discombobulated. It just is what it is. It's time to clean up. You know what I'm saying? So I have to walk onto the SB side to get the broom and shit and the, the scrub buckets and everything 
so we can go clean these showers and we can go do all this other shit. So when I walk onto the SB side, I see Raya. She's on the top tier and she ain't light skin. Is you coming out to, to yard? So I'm thinking in my head, like, bitch, I'm not going nowhere with you. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not gonna tell her I'm not going outside with her. Bitch, you're gonna figure this shit out. You know what I'm saying? So before I can say anything, unbeknownst to me, Mira has followed my ass over there. So when I'm looking up at her, trying to figure out what the fuck I'm gonna say to spin her, Mira pushed me out the way, saying, you don't got time to be talking. Take your ass on to the back. And guess what? I obeyed the bitch. You know what I'm saying? So when I get back to this little kitchen part to grab these brooms and mops and shit, here go Mira again. The bitch grabbed me by my throat again. It's such a fucking turn on. And the bitch pushed me up against the wall again. You know what I'm saying? Now this time, this bitch take her finger. This one right here. And this bitch stick it in my pants and stick it up in my pussy. And she curve her fucking finger. So as, she, as she's kissing me, she's fucking me with her finger. And this finger is on my G spot. You know what I'm saying? Oh my fucking God. The feel, I'm so wet. I'm wet. I'm, I feel myself dripping. You know what I'm saying? I feel myself dripping. And in no time, I'm coming. Now we in the motherfucking... In this broom closet by the kitchen. Anybody can walk past this motherfucking door and this bitch don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? The only thing she give a fuck about is fucking me and pleasing me. And listen, this is a mind fuck. You know what I'm saying? I talk about a bad fuck and a body fuck all the fucking time. This bitch has some pip in her. You know what I'm saying? This bitch has some motherfucking pip in her. You can't tell me no different. So I come. You know what I'm saying? I come. This bitch, she feel me come, she pull her finger up out of me, and she suck that motherfucker. And at this point in time, I thought, bitch, I will follow you any motherfucking way you want to go, bitch. Where you want to go? You want to escape tonight? You want to get up out of here tonight, bitch? I'll, I'll, I'll call somebody. We're going to get a hotel. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about I was super stupid at that moment. From that moment on, I had no more sense. So I come up out the broom closet. I come up out the little broom closet and she come up out of there. You know what I'm saying? So she's smirking because she already know my head is gone. My head is fucking gone. Listen, when I come up out that broom, broom closet, I had absolutely nothing that I went in that motherfucker for. You know what I'm saying? I had absolutely nothing that I went in that motherfucking for. I'm not going to lie to you. I walked out of that motherfucker and just kept walking. And I got on the other side, back to SA, and realized, bitch, if you don't go back over here and get these uh, mops and brooms and shit, you're going to get your ass in trouble because you've been back up in that broom closet for about five motherfucking minutes. Now, you don't want the CEOs and shit to get suspicious because you don't want to fuck up what you got going on. You know what I'm saying? I walk back over there, and I grab everything I'm supposed to have, but I guarantee you, I'm cleaning these motherfucking showers and sweeping this floor and shit. And I got the biggest smile on my face. Motherfuckers calling my name. I don't know nothing that's going on. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? And listen, <laughs> I'm finna get ready and leave y'all. Make sure, make sure y'all tune into the next motherfucking episode. Shit is getting real. It's getting fucking real. It's getting real. And I'm gonna leave y'all with that. <laughs> y'all be smooth.